Hi, it's Steve Grisetti again, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guides to Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements. We are in part two of a two-part series on creating an animation wherein a still photo in a photo album zooms out, fills your video frame, and becomes video. Now in part one, we created the initial motion path here of the photo album itself. And now I'm going to take the playhead and move it down to where my video is. I want to create a still photo or a freeze frame of the very first second or the very first frame here in my video clip. Now to get to that very first frame, all I need to do is position my playhead in the video clip and use page up. See page down takes you to the end, page up takes you to the beginning, and then click on this little camera icon here on the monitor panel. That will create a freeze frame that if we select insert in movie, will now appear on my timeline right before my video. Before I move it into position, I'm going to come over here and select my photo album clip again on the timeline. And then with that selected, go back to Applied Effects. And here in my keyframe controller, I'm going to use these buttons here, go to previous keyframe, to move the playhead to the very first keyframe in my movie. Leaving that playhead in position, drag the still photo or this freeze frame of my video so that it's right on top of my photo album. Then with it selected, that is the uh, freeze frame selected, I'm going to go back over here to Applied Effects, open up the keyframe controller by clicking on the stopwatch. You may have to click it a couple of times to get it to open and create my initial keyframe. Now this initial keyframe is going to be, let's see, let's try about 50% here to start with. And once I've got it small enough, I can select motion here in the Applied Effects panel and actually create my motion just by dragging on the corners. There we go. And I can move that into position right over this other photo. And even if I hover just outside the corner handles, I can actually rotate it just a little bit when I put it into position. So there's our initial spot. This is what we're going to see up until the very first moment of animation. I'm going to select the photo album again, go back here to the keyframe controller, click that a couple of times, and now I want to jump to the second keyframe, which is now we've zoomed in on the photo album. Let's take this freeze frame. I'm going to drag it into the new position. We're going to zoom in just a little bit by dragging on its corner. And now its animation should match the animation for the photo album. Once again, we made sure the playhead was in the exact same spots as we created our animation. So here's our photo albums animation, and here's our freeze frame animation, and you notice they're in perfect sync. And in fact, if I look at the video, just pull the playhead back, we'll close this panel. You see that when I play it, we zoom in and both are zooming in at the same speed. Now let's go back here to once we've zoomed in, we want to come out here just about a second. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to select the freeze frame again. Go back over here to Applied Effects. Now I want to take that playhead and move it just a hair, maybe a third of a second beyond this last keyframe. And I'm going to press Create Keyframe for Position and create keyframe for scale. This creates duplicates of the previous keyframe. In other words, we're gonna to come to this position and we're gonna pause for just about a third of a second. Then I'll come out about a second more. Now I'm going to change the scale to 100% so that this photo kind of fills now the video frame. If there's any rotation, I'm gonna get rid of that by changing that to zero. And then I'm going to drag the photo if necessary so that it fills the frame. I can actually manually type it in, which in this case would be 360 by 240. This is the vector position for the very center of a 720 by 480 frame. So now that's in position, I'll go back here to the timeline, I'll close this panel, we'll trim uh, that still photo so that it ends right there after it's zoomed in, and I'm going to drag my video clip that we put off to the side here right up against it. And so now we should have our complete animation, which will show us the photo album. We'll get that animation so, so that we zoom in. I'll go ahead and play it. Zoom in on the photo album and the photo. And then the photo widens out, fills the frame, and becomes video. And that's how we create cool trick number 24 in cool tricks and hot tips for Adobe Premiere Elements. I hope you'll check out the book. I hope you check out all our books or wonderful tutorials we have uh, at moviepix.com. 
We'd love to help you out. and We'd love to see you join our community. I'm Steve Grisetti. Thanks for joining me for this. Hope to see you again real soon.